Uh, nothing industry. We're all about tourism here now. Uh, let's see, what can we go, what can we actually go for? Botanical gardens could be nice to have. We, we can have them over here, like nestled off in a corner. Just nestle them off right there. We'll have it there, right next to the electrical station. So that if the electrical station catches on fire, it can burn the botanical forest and it won't spread to the rest of the city it in that one location. I'm pretty sure that's not how fire works. But, you know, I don't care. It, if you can't tell already, like, the laws of physics, nature, and chemistry, they don't, they don't matter here. Oh, what the hell is this? The beautiful flower of nature, Miss Sunny Flowers, tells me that the environment is very important. <sighs> Listen to her, because she is important. No... Oh, actually, since we're not working industry, we're, we should probably get the environment to go up anyway. Um, uh, how do I... I have to introduce tenants to stop. Oh. He can stop global warming, but he likes it hot. He is not an environmentalist. He is an earth warrior. He is El Prez, the most awesome person in the world. You're goddamn right he is. Okay, so we already had it above 60. So that's good. What about this? Bad news, I'm afraid. The British claim that they are entitled to a percentage of your tourism profits. Fuck you. London wants to expand the 20% profit tax to include tourism. I intervene on behalf of the UN and convince London that more taxes will be disastrous effects on the economy. They've actually agreed to drop the profit tax and exports altogether if you make a one-time payment of $20,000. I'll do it. That's actually a good deal. I'll, I'll gladly pay $20,000 to have these stupid import taxes and bullshit tourism taxes going away. I'll start making more money. Oh, the Ferris wheel is about to come up. Oh. My dear President Day, the election day draws near. The pure affection of El Presidente is enough. There's just no need for fraud. It really is. I'm doing pretty well with happiness and stuff, and people do support me right now. Oh, I got another quest. Cult of Personality. Presidente Mass Media is the heart of any good PR campaign. Okay, I'm gonna build a... Congratulations, President. I'm going to build, as he said, a media station, like a TV station, because... I think that is a good idea. That's a good point. We should probably have one. And where should we put it? Well, we kind of want to show the tourists that we're a civilized country. And I think a TV station might be a good way to do that. But where can we actually squeeze it in? Can we squeeze it in over here maybe? No. About right next to the church. Is that possible? Right next to the harbor? No. No. I don't want to build it there. That's where all the hotels are going. Ugh, fuck. BBC. Increase the liberty of all citizens living in the area. Workers in the area gain experience. Generates revenue per adult tropican. Um, generates revenue per adult tropican. Uh, generates revenue per adult female tropican and increases the respect of all citizens living in an area. So we really want to put this in a high population where our population is being focused. Um, hmm. That not be that won't be a good. Sp I don't know if like the red again. I have no idea if the red means that we should build it there or if those are areas that need it the most. I'm gonna think they're areas that need it the most, and um, since these guys need it the most up here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it here maybe. We'll put it like. Why are the soldiers revolting? That's bullshit. I'll put it right there. I guess. We'll have it there. Like I said, I'm assuming these are the, the poor people are the ones that are, that, you know, don't like what we're doing. 
I mean, typically it's it is the poor that disagree with all tyrannical rules. So they're the ones that I'm going to assume are causing the problems. Okay, I'm going to put these... I'm going to actually build more tenements, and I'm going to extend the housing division, because God knows that we're gonna, we actually need more housing now. At least one more tenement going up here in the center town. We're not going to give them anything good. Just, you know, just enough. Fortunately, the college students are going to have to deal with, build a guard station. Sir. Fine, I'll build a guard station for you. That sounds, um... We can't. We don't have enough generals. It's because we don't have any college males yet. Okay, I'm going to hire more for these uh, fuckers then. Get some generals. Uh, build, I don't think we need to build oil refineries or anything. Because that will hurt our, um... It will hurt our tourist industry for the environmentalists, and we don't need that. Oh yes, the tourists are what pouring are you doing in. Tonight? What else can we go for attraction-wise? I think it's time that we actually start appealing to the higher class. So I think getting the first things first. Everyone knows that the high class love marinas. They don't like anything fun, they just like marinas. That's the only thing they like. So we're going to set up a marina somewhere, somehow. Um, uh, how, where should I set it up? Can I set it up? Uh, I can set it up here. There we go, that's good. And we have to, we're going to, do we have to connect the marina by road? I don't know, I have no idea if we do. We should probably start going down with the roads anyway, because, to be honest with you, we're at, we're kind of at that point where... It might be more profitable to have roads that, you know, go down the coastline. Uh, let me... I gotta... Can I fit anything in here anyway? I can't even fit a shanty in there if I wanted to, so no. Should probably delete that road then. Delete this road. And we're going to eventually turn it over, but it's going to start up here. We're going to do this. That gives us more room to work with. And I think that's enough room in the middle there to fit more buildings. So there we go. You're now extending the road. We're going to need to build more hotels because more hotels is wh exactly what we need right now. We can't build a skyscraper hotel. We've built the maximum number of skyscrapers we possibly can. We are going to actually unlock the regular hotel for $2,000 and we're going to start placing those places. Um... They have to have an exit out their arse, which so which kind of sucks. So let me zoom in. I need to see which way is the exit. Uh, the hotel. The exit's on this side of the building, so we're gonna put it like there. There we go. So it's gonna be facing the opposite direction of the other building, which to be honest, we need because I don't want to have another road coming out the ass there. Kind of aggravating, even if it looks weird. The blimp is now up, which means that we should be getting... Oh, there it goes. There it fucking goes. What's our options? Your advertisement on this blimp. Call 1-800-HAYMONT right now to earn advertising rights. This extra proceeds for advertisement access to your treasury. How? Who would dare to protest under the watchful eye of El Presidente and his dreaded blimp? All protests are disabled in the area of the blimp. Presidente, presidential presence. People seeing the blimp will feel as if El Presidente himself is with them. All such buildings will receive bonuses as if personal... Yes, that sounds great. Oh, oh yes. Look, they're being personally visited by El Presidente because of the blimp. Let's get rid of that. Get out of our land. I don't know, that could have been a cool tourist attraction up there, though, to be honest with you. The propaganda station is coming online. This huge tower. Twenty-two tourists have arrived on the island. The followers are going up, and they went up pretty slow. We need to get... Oh, here's something to help us. Presidente, if left unchecked, crime can become a serious problem, both for your citizens and for the tourists. Okay, I can try... Oh, I need to close. 
I accepted that. He is capital punishment personified. He neither serves nor protects. But you would still be safe around him. He is El Prez. The most awesome person in the You're world. God damn right I am. Oh, our Swiss bank account just jumped up. Okay, so we now have the police protection. They have normal training. We could go for special ops training. No. No, maybe not. We still oh, we still have power? What the hell? What's going on? Do these require power as well? I don't know why our power oh our power is going back up. It was definitely because we didn't have enough people, so we need to get more college grads in here. And we actually need to hire college grads to work in our college to teach people. Unfortunately. So I'm going to hire a few of those. They should arrive on the next ship. I guess something we built required electricity. I don't know what it was. Oh, it was probably... Does this require electricity? It might, actually. People are leaving this fucking place for some odd reason. They're not wanting to work here. I keep I hire immigrants to work here, nowhere else. You're not allowed to leave. This is slave labor. Slave labor. The fucking audacity. We need to get some more electricity up because even the skywheel's not working anymore. This is not good. Can't that's not acceptable. <laughs> 